Well, time to do another update video. Well, f all right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to my September 2018 update video, part two. So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, I'm gonna go over some personal life stuff as well as YouTube -y stuff. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing I wanna talk to you guys about is the fact that, well, these update videos are on a new channel. So uh, the biggest news as far as YouTube -y stuff goes for this month is the fact that I decided to branch out to separate channels to give you guys different uh, streams of content. So um, as I told you guys in the uh, original September 2018 update video, I've decided to move all of my Navy content over to my Andy Talks Navy channel. And I've also decided to move my whole archive of content onto this channel that you're watching me on right now. But I've decided to change this channel from strictly an archive channel to it also being the location of all my personal life updates, vlogs, travel videos, and just things like that. So if you guys are looking for the personal life vlogs and stuff like that, you've come to the right place. <laughs> so this is gonna be the new location for those videos now uh, moving forward. And then what was, you know, basically is still my main channel. It has been turned into strictly, um, my channel focusing on video editing tutorials as well as other aspects of the creative industry. So uh, I've changed it from just the Andy San to edited by the Andy San and has my little logo and stuff like that. And I'm also going to be changing banners and avatars and all that kind of stuff up very soon. Uh, it's just going to take me some time because I really want to make these channel changes right and put on a, a fresh coat of paint as it were because They've been sorely needing it, to be uh, perfectly frank with you guys. But uh, I'm not especially good as a graphic designer. I mean, I'm okay. I know my way around Photoshop a little bit, but uh, it's not my specialty. So I prefer making videos as opposed to making pictures. But I'm pretty decent at making pictures. If you follow me on Instagram.com slash the Nissan, humble plug. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I definitely do want to make a good go of this as far as uh, making YouTube videos again. And I felt for the longest time that having all my content on a single channel was really hurting my numbers, really splitting my audience. Uh, Cause there's some of you that watch me strictly for the Navy stuff. Some of you watch me for personal life updates, travel videos, all that stuff. And then some of you watch me just for my editing tutorials. And I found that, you know, trying to market myself to, you know, one of those niches, tends to turn people off to the other stuff that I have to offer. And that's okay. I'm not blaming you guys. This is, uh, it's all on me. <laughs> I've been fighting uh, having separate channels for the longest time because I felt like it was splitting my audience, you know, literally splitting my audience. But I found that actually keeping them all on one channel was doing the same thing. I figure that's the, uh, the best strategy moving forward. And it's not just for ad money and stuff like that. It's also just... So that way I feel more creatively, you know, not restricted, free, I guess. Because <laughs> I felt like, you know, making videos is like, is this really the video that screams the Andy son? You know, because, you know, I have a lot of ideas for different videos, but I felt that having them on the main channel just really, again, would split my audience and it really wouldn't be uh, the Andy son type video. So I figure... Splitting the channels to their own little niches will be the best thing moving forward. And plus, I got this channel now. In addition to archival stuff, it's also kind of my little uh, experimental channel as well. So I'm going to be putting up, you know, a bunch of different stuff as I make them. Um, it does take me a little bit because uh, I'm also doing, still doing, the, uh, the freelance video editing stuff as well. So that's what 
the majority of my time is being spent on uh, doing videos for my current clients, finding new clients, as well as my IRL job. But yeah, uh, I feel really good about this uh, this move. It's been something that's really been weighing on me for a while now. And I feel yeah. like this move is the best way to give everybody what they want, basically, and still allow me the creative freedom to pursue what I want to make as well. So, and also, if you're thinking, well, he just did it for the AdSense money. Um, it, I'm not gonna lie, it did play a part in my reason for splitting the channels, but not as much as you guys might think. I've noticed that as far as um, ad revenue, my video editing tutorials, hands down, made me the most amount of money. So yes, that was partially the reason why I moved them to the monetized channel and then all my vlogs and other stuff onto currently unmonetized channels. I'm hoping through uh, some more consistent video making to eventually make them monetized. Um, but again, that's just a small reason why I did it. It's not the main reason. But yeah, man, I uh, feel pretty good about that. Um, in other updating news, I'm still looking for uh, another job to help kind of supplement my income. Uh, I've been looking for more freelance video editing gigs. i um, been looking for additional work from my current client base, which that's going especially well. I'm really, really proud of how my clients are doing uh, growth-wise on YouTube and just the, the overall positive reaction to uh, those videos. And I mean, granted, I'm not in the videos. I just put them together. Um, so ultimately, it's on them to provide me with the best material possible. You know, so I'm, I'm not an alchemist. I can't turn lead into gold, but uh, I can get pretty close. <laughs> really glad for them and their success, and especially moving forward uh, and getting more involved uh, with their video making process as well. You know, maybe giving them a couple suggestions here and there. You know, hey, get B roll this, or, you know, do this instead of that, you know, stuff like that. And that's. Something else I wanted to, to talk with you guys about, you know, because as you guys know, since moving back to the States in 2015, I've been wanting to go back to Japan for the longest time. And I felt like it was so cost prohibitive, you know, because that's the main thing, because being out in the Midwest in America, uh, plane tickets to and from Japan are extremely expensive. Um, if I was living, you know, on the West Coast, not so much, probably about like literally half what I would pay if I flew out from here. Um, so that's been the main uh, prohibiting factor for me not even visiting Japan since I got out. Um, but I'm looking to, to change that in a big way. Um, and I know I've said this before, you know, <laughs> but uh, it does bear repeating. You know, I do want to go back to Japan. Uh, I've been talking with a lot of my friends and clients and stuff about what it would take um, moving back to Japan. Now, obviously, I don't have a four-year degree, so I can't just apply for a job from here and then fly out or anything like that. And I don't have the husbando visa, so can't do that. So the only other real way for me to come back to Japan for longer than just a tourist visa would be for me to go to school, go out to a escuela, out in Japan. So that's an avenue that I've been pursuing uh, pretty heavily as of late. Uh, just been looking into the cost because that's the main thing because, you know, even as a Navy veteran on the GI Bill, and, you know, where the tuition's taken care of, you know, you get like a book stipend, you get living, you know, BAH, you know, you get a housing stipend basically. So even with all that, you know, if I were going to school, it'd probably most likely be in Tokyo because that's where all my clients are. It's where a good, you know, foreigner population is. It's where a lot of the main Japan YouTubers are. So, you know, I want to go out there for networking events and, you know, getting more clients in addition to being out in Japan and enjoying myself. And Tokyo seems to be the perfect hub for that. And people that aren't even in Tokyo can get there pretty easily, I feel. Um depending on their situation, of course, but a lot of them at least know where it's at. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Um, so yeah, I feel pretty 
pretty good about、uh, looking for educational opportunities out in Japan. You know, looking through、um, a lot of American schools. You know, the main two are obviously Temple, which, you know, despite how some people may feel about it, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, you gotta realize, you know, what do you want out of this experience? And, you know, for me, I want to go back to Japan. I、uh, really miss it, really miss my friends out there. Would love to do more. Um, networking opportunities out there, and I feel like I'm not really getting those here in Midwestern America, here in Ohio. And I think that since pretty much my entire client base is in Japan, in the Tokyo ish area, that moving out there would bring me closer to them, literally, and、uh, would allow me to work with them a bit more closely than just giving suggestions out here in America as far as. You know, camera movements and things to shoot for B roll and stuff like that. And so I think it would really benefit them, you know, in the video making process. And, you know, it don't hurt, you know, if anything, it don't hurt to have a, a you know, a cameraman. So that way you don't have to do it all yourself. So I think it's going to be a really good move. But again, Rome wasn't bit, built in a day. So it's definitely going to take me some time to save up some money. Um, to even consider the move because you know, the plane ticket is the main cost.、Um, it's at least $1,000 USD.、Um, that's at bare minimum. You know, that's like one of the cheapest prices I've seen them for just a one way ticket, mind you. And then you also got to figure in、uh, living costs until the GI Bill kicks in because, yes, like I said, GI Bill pays for school. They give you a you know, book stipend, they give you a living stipend, and all that stuff. But It takes a little bit to,、uh, to kick in. you know, Best case scenario, I'd start seeing checks around、uh, the following month, basically.、Um, but if I were to go there earlier to get myself set up,、um, I got to pay that all out of pocket. So、um, got to come up with some money to do that. And plus, being on a student visa,、um, legally, I can only work so many hours a week. And also, depending on schoolwork as well. And client work and all this kind of stuff. You know, there's only so much that I can do. And plus, you know, I didn't come to Japan just to work. You know, I came there to enjoy myself and to see the sights, make some videos of my own. So, you know, I got to really buckle down on time management. And, you know, really, you know, at the end of the day, I do want to get my college degree. And、uh, I can't just be out there. Gallivanting around Japan the whole time. You know, I got to focus seriously on my studies because if I don't, then I'll lose my visa and I'll have to go back to America empty handed. And I don't want to do that. You know, I've had, if you guys have been following、uh, my channel for a while now, you'll know that、um, I've had some trouble in college、um, just focusing. And especially since getting out of the military, I've been dealing with a lot of、uh, mental issues. You know, just a lot of anxiety and depression and stuff like that. And it's something that I'm really working on. And I want to make sure that I succeed this time. You know, and not just because of, will there never be a next time? Because there's always a next time. Point being, I'm in my early 30s. You know, I got to really start putting in some work. You know, I'm out of the military now. I don't have that to fall back on aside from GI Bill and stuff. But, You know, it's time to start getting serious about what I want to do. You know, and I'd love being a freelance video editor. It's allowed me to express my creativity even when I'm not in front of a camera talking. Because, you know, there's some days, and it's been like this for the past couple weeks now, where I, I just don't want to be in front of a camera. You know, the anxiety starts really setting in, and I'm stumbling over my words, and, you know, sometimes I just. Don't really have much to say, to be honest with you guys. And,、uh, you know, that's why there's delays a lot of times with me putting out videos, in addition to working on other stuff for clients, IRL work, stuff like that. So, you know, I really want to do this to help work on myself because I noticed, you know, in a lot of my old Andy Japandy videos that I really wasn't happy. It, it was a really weird time in my life, 
2013, 2015, because I was in the place that I've wanted to be since I was a little kid. You know, always wanted to go to Japan. And uh, I was still unhappy. And, you know, through uh, therapy and just having some time to really think about it, once I got out of the military, I found that, you know, I just wasn't happy because of the, you know, the fast paced nature of being stationed overseas uh, in the military versus just living in Japan. Because I felt that Japan was kind of my, <laughs> it was my, my place of solace, you know, despite all the stuff that was going on in my personal life, work life, you know, Japan was there and it was kind of the nice warm fuzzy blanket that kind of, you know, kept me going throughout all these troubling times. And, you know, I really miss it. And I want to get back to Japan, you know, because even though I was there for like two years, there, there's more to Japan, more of Japan to explore, you know, not just within Tokyo, but also throughout. And I felt that being in the military, I was very restricted on what I could do, what I could make videos about, especially. So there was a lot of times where I was just like inside my apartment making videos, which I know not a lot of people liked, um, kind of is what it is. But, you know, and speaking of that, you know, knowing what I know now about making videos and editing and all that stuff and having the actual time to do it, to put forward, you know, a good, well-edited video with B-roll. <laughs> I know I was anti-B-roll at the time because um, I felt like I had that old school YouTuber mentality of, you know, they'll watch it because it's raw and it's not super well cut like a TV show or something like that. But the climate's changed. I've changed, most importantly. And I feel like B-roll is nice. It's a nice little break, uh, even though there's really no B-roll for the most part in these update videos. Um, they're just to let you guys know what's going on, stuff like that. And it allowed me a chance to kind of ramble and rave about whatever else is going on. So that's what's going on <laughs> right now uh, in my life. And I'm glad to be, uh, to be making videos again. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been making my own stuff. And you know, I can't wait to get back in the saddle, um, especially with the Japan stuff, which again, I don't have any set in stone plans yet. So don't get all, you know, oh my God, Andy's going to be going to Japan. You know, it's, it's coming. I just don't have anything set yet. I'm just starting to put the things in motion that I need to in order to get started. You know, the most important thing is, you know, getting stuff in savings, um, gonna be selling some some stuff to raise some money um and again this is all kind of part of the reason why i'm looking for more client work uh looking for a different irl job looking to pick up some hours stuff like that you know another reason why i'm making some videos and changing some stuff up as well it's all it's all part of the plan as the joker would say so in any anyway, guys i've kind of rambled and raved long enough if you guys are still watching this video thank you so much and with that said this is the andy san signing for now and as always we'll see you next time catch you later guys bye